we are not able to rise out above petty things that might be influencing our lives. And what would be the nature of such things? It could be arrogance. Arrogance may be not for big things. It could be ego. It could be the thought that humility is something that is inborn in me. I am a very humble person. But somehow, the world may not perceive you as that. Why is that so? Why is it that, suppose, you make a contribution somewhere. Let's not just say to a donation or something like that. And you do it quietly. You don't talk about it. And someone comes to know about it later. And they said, oh, we didn't realize that you had made such a big contribution here. And you say, that's okay. It's nothing to brag about. So that comes from a space of humility. It is not something that you do and then tell the whole world that this is what I have done. That is bragging. That is arrogance. And sometimes... We, <coughs> sorry, we do not allow ourselves to believe in the goodness of humility. We think being humble is a weakness. We think if people see me as a humble person, there is possibility that they may assume that they can take advantage of me. Right? So, ego, arrogance, ungratefulness and the idea that if I contribute the world will come to know and then I'll be in the limelight which is a fear sometimes holds you back from being humble sometimes we think that if we are rude or if we talk in a firm manner to somebody who is maybe having a debate with me or argument also with me. But I choose to be rude. So what am I doing? I am blocking all those energies of goodness that are there inside me and choosing the option of rudeness. So what can people say? Look at her. She pretends to be a very humble person but she's full of rudeness arrogance again I come back rudeness arrogance ungrateful and petty right so if humility is coming in your way as a constant reminder from the universe why is it that we don't allow that role play of humility to become a bigger part of our life we can choose that option. And being humble is gracious. Being humble is also accepting all our shortcomings, working on them and then rising above it to become gracious, dignified, honorable and lovable. Do we want that? Yes, we do. Do we try to escape it? Sometimes we do, right? So why not do soul's love today to discover our own strengths and qualities of humility and make it a virtue which is a constant with us and lives with us in our daily action and every activity that we do with ourselves. Firstly with ourselves and then with the world because what is within you is reflected and mirrored and comes back to you. So if you are humble and gracious, there is no reason that you will not receive the same from others in your space. Yeah? So close your eyes. <coughs> 
take a deep breath breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out invoke your healing masters healing guides healing angels your higher consciousness radical consciousness love consciousness prosperity consciousness your teachers mentors gurus and guides seek their blessings seek their guidance to help you center yourself and become one with the oneness of humility learn the aspects of humility such that your life path and journey to connect to your super consciousness and align to it remains synchronized and the path is easy and effortless for you collect all your energies from wherever they are in the universe see them sense them feel them entering you giving you a sense of completion and when you feel complete and centered take a deep breath to absorb it and we begin our recitation of soul's love my humility is my soul's love my humility is my soul's love my humility is my soul's love my reasons to resist from being humble is my soul's love my reasons to resist for being humble is my soul's love my reasons to resist for being humble is my soul's love my reasons for arrogance is my soul's love my reasons for arrogance is my soul's love my reasons for arrogance is my soul's love my arrogance related to my contribution is my soul's love my arrogance related to my contribution is my soul's love my arrogance related to my contribution is my soul's love my arrogance is my soul's love my arrogance is my soul's love my arrogance is my soul's love <coughs> my reluctance to contribute is 
my soul's love. My reluctance to contribute is my soul's love. My reluctance to contribute is my soul's love. My resistance to contribute is my soul's love. My resistance to contribute is my soul's love. My resistance to contribute is my soul's love. My need to prove my worthiness by arrogantly contributing is my soul's love. My need to prove my worthiness by arrogantly contributing is my soul's love. My need to prove my worthiness by arrogantly contributing is my soul's love. My guilt of my inability to contribute with humanity is my soul's love. My guilt of my inability to contribute with humility is my soul's love. My guilt of my inability to contribute with humility is my soul's love. My need to forgive myself for my arrogance is my soul's love. My need to forgive myself for my arrogance in contributing is my soul's love. My need to forgive myself for my arrogance in contributing is my soul's love. My ungratefulness in sharing with others is my soul's love. My ungratefulness in sharing with others is my soul's love. My ungratefulness in sharing with others is my soul's love. My need to be selfish and ungracious is my soul's love. My need to be selfish and ungracious is my soul's love. My need to be selfish and ungracious is my soul's love. My rudeness is my soul's love. My rudeness is my soul's love. My rudeness is my soul's love. My reasons to be rude to others is my soul's love. My reason to be rude to others is my soul's love. My reasons to be rude to others is my soul's love. Not accepting my role play in the journey of life is my soul's love. Not accepting my role play in the journey of life is my soul's love. Not accepting my role play in the journey of life is my soul's love. 
blocking my channels of contribution because of ego is my soul's love blocking my channels of contribution because of ego is my soul's love blocking my channels of contribution because of ego is my soul's love my lack of humility while sharing giving or contributing is my soul's love my lack of sharing my lack of humility while sharing giving or contributing is my soul's love my lack of humility while sharing giving or contributing is my soul's love my discourteous behavior towards others is my soul's love my discourteous behavior towards others is my soul's love my discourteous behavior towards others is my soul's love my impolite language which hurts others is my soul's love my impolite language which hurts others is my soul's love my impolite language <coughs> which hurts others is my soul's love being loud and rude to show others in a bad light is my soul's love being loud and rude to show others in a bad light is my soul's love being loud and rude to show others in a bad light is my soul's love my need to feel superior to others is my soul's love my need to feel superior to others is my soul's love my need to feel superior to others is my soul's love my pretentious behavior in all my contributions is my soul's love my pretentious behavior in all my contributions is my soul's love my pretentious behavior in all my contributions is my soul's love my regret of judging others for being an arrogant contributor is my soul's love my regret or guilt of judging others for being an arrogant contributor is my soul's love my regret or guilt of judging others for being an arrogant contributor is my soul's love being aware that i am only a channel of contribution is my soul's love <coughs> being aware that i am only a channel of contribution is my soul's love being aware 
that I am only a channel of contribution is my soul's love. My ability to discover contributing graciously with humility is my soul's love. My ability to discover contributing graciously with humility is my soul's love. My ability to discover contributing graciously with humility is my soul's love. Serving with humility is my soul's love. Serving with humility is my soul's love. Serving with humility is my soul's love. My ability to humbly accept my role play and be grateful to the receivers is my soul's love. My ability to humbly accept my role play and be grateful to the receivers is my soul's love. My ability to humbly accept my role play and be grateful to the receivers is my soul's love. Remaining grounded when sharing or giving with humility is my soul's love. Remaining grounded while sharing <coughs> or giving with humility is my soul's love. Remaining grounded while sharing with <coughs> humility is my soul's love. My ability to contribute graciously as per my life plan is my soul's love. My ability to contribute graciously as per my life plan is my soul's love. My ability to contribute graciously as per my life plan is my soul's love. My need to contribute humbly is my soul's love. <coughs> my need to contribute humbly is my soul's love. My need to contribute humbly is my soul's love. My humility is my soul's love. My humility is my soul's love. My humility is my soul's love. I see my humility. I feel my humility. I acknowledge my humility. I love and accept my humility. I honor my humility. I honor the brilliance in my humility. I am my humility and my humility is me. I see my humility. I feel my humility. I acknowledge my humility. I love and accept my humility. I honor my humility. 
I honor the brilliance in my humility. I am my humility and my humility is me. I am my soul's love and my soul's love is me. I am my soul's love and my soul's love is me. I am my soul's love and my soul's love is me. Stay in this space. Absorb the messages of soul's love for humility that resonate with you. See them, feel them, entering every part of your mind, body and soul. And when you feel a sense of completion, take a deep breath to absorb it and you can open your eyes. Take your time.